hello everyone welcome back today I'm going to show you how to configure your local cable internet with your TP-Link TDW8968 modem plus router device um, as many people don't know how to configure their local internet cable with your this device as you know maybe about that uh, these local cables sharing your internet so you just need to configure that rj45 cable in your router only so this modem plus router include all the features which maybe some people don't know about that you can use this modem as only router so here i'm going to show you how to configure that with your computer or your cable internet okay first take the backup of your previous uh, router settings like MAC addresses, IP address, subnet mask, gateway, domain name servers so just make sure you just copy that all these things or you can note that on the notepad okay take the backup from all the settings you just need to type the 192.168.1.1 or you can use 192.168.0.1 and type your log admin or you can say admin details so you can configure your details from there okay after the taking backup of these settings i will show you what you need to do you can see the back side of your modem router there are four four ports which is the LAN ports 1, 2, 3 and 4 or if you have uh, any another uh, port separately you can say the WAN port so you can connect that RJ45 which is the cable uh, the service provider provides you so you just connect your RJ45 in that 4 lane okay or you can say the WAN WAN port so make sure you connect your internet cable in the WAN port and the second cable which is coming from your computer so you just connect anywhere in these three ports okay in my case just connect with the LAN 1 alright after connecting these cables just go to your uh, browser and type the 192.168.1.1 and press enter so you can see the screen like this or if you are not able to figure out this screen so just press the reset button over here this small hole so just press that button for the five second and release that so you can make this uh, router modem as the default setting okay so just press the admin and your password should be admin as the default setting but i change my password okay as you can say mine is up over here you can see that so what you need to do is just go to the quick setup okay just press the next and select the wireless router mode just select only this option you don't need to do anything press the next and just fill your details which you copied earlier from your previous router setting alright make sure you copy each and everything correctly after doing that just go to the next you can configure your wireless as well so just enable this uh, option from here and put the name of your wireless and select the network authentication and mention your password which you want to uh, put in on your wireless network and press the next as you can see the screen so just press the confirm once you confirm that so the most important part is that just confirm that so you can 
see the status of device over here it's down or you can see the up once you see that up but when you are trying to open the any website so you do not able to uh, open any website or if you are able to open any website so that's good for you so what you need to do is just contact your service provider and tell them you just replaced your router so they will refresh your MAC address in this system this is the only way you can use this router otherwise it's not working some people don't know how to can uh, do that so just call your service provider and they will refresh your MAC address in their record and you can easily use that router if you want to know anything else or if you stuck anywhere so just ping me or comment me and i will try to solve your problem okay guys thank you very much i hope you like this video so please thumbs up and subscribe my channel so stay tuned with me thank you very much